The last thing that we talk about in this section is writing things in descending order. If you'll remember back at some of the other problems that we've worked, when we combined like terms, we didn't really worry about how we wrote it out. We just combined like terms sort of as we saw them. Well, in order for things to be in proper order, they need to be written in what's called descending order, where our highest power of the variable comes first, and then we go down by one until we have no more variables. So here we have an x to the third, so then come with one power less than that would be x squared, x to the first, then x to the zero. So that is in descending order. Sometimes you're going to be missing terms. In this case here we have x squared and then minus 5. Well if this was in perfect descending order, we have an x squared, then should come x to the first, and then x to the zero. We're missing that plain x term in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice writing these and we're going to put in those missing terms. This is going to be really, really important when we start dividing polynomials. So we have to learn how to do this. Okay, so here we, we have a, an example that says write the polynomial in descending powers of the variable and with no missing powers. So our highest power of the variable here is a cube, a 3. So we're going to start out writing 5y cubed, since that's the highest power. Now if we went down in order, going down by 1 each time, after y cubed would come y squared. But we don't have any of those here. So we're going to have to put in what's called a 0 placeholder, plus 0 y squareds. So after we go 3, 2, then we'd go 1. So our next term would be plus 2y, which is technically to the first power, even though we don't have to write it. And then plain numbers, 3, 2, 1, nothing. So our plain number is a negative 10. That is in perfect descending order. The last problem here says 9x to the fifth minus x squared plus 2. Which one of these is the highest power? Which term is the highest power? It would be this 9x to the 5th, right? Absolutely. So 9x to the 5th is our highest power. Now we're going to go down by 1 until we get to 0. So after 5 would come 4, but we don't have any here. So we have to put in that 0 placeholder. 0x to the 4th. 5, 4, next would be 3, but we don't have any 3's. So we'd have to put in another 0 placeholder, 0x cubes. So 5, 4, 3, next comes 2. We do have an x squared. In fact, we have a minus x squared. Okay, so back to this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This would be plain x's, but we don't have any. So we have to put in a 0 placeholder again. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, no x's and that would be our constant term, or our plus 2. I cannot stress enough how important it is for this entire section to really concentrate and learn the vocabulary. Whenever we're talking about terms, coefficients, constants, variables, polynomials, monomials, binomials, trinomials, we're going to be using these words from now on and we're going to expect that you understand the definition, so really pay attention to that.